I'm, I'm hoping for a 15 today, yep. but I know we're gonna get some 12s. 12s are good perch. Yep. And a lot of solid 10s that are nice and meaty, and occasional dogfish and occasional pike. I like this size personally for eating. Here we go. That's a nice one. Hey, I'll tell you what, you never get sick of perch fishing. And I'll tell you, I said this the last time we did a perch show, is that it is incredible when you think about how all the great perch fishing that we've had the last couple of years. You know, it doesn't matter if it's up on the Bay of Green Bay or if it's on up on Lake Winnebago or some of the inland lakes. Perch fishing, definitely we are in a really good cycle. Yeah, and we're using several different rigs. Like this one, I just have a little 30 second ounce jig on there and then a split shot up above it. And Lance has got a couple slip bobbers going. Brian's got a bobber going. And we're also using a lot of drop shot rigs. Now this one, obviously wow. just got the bait on there when I wasn't watching. And what I do is I've just got the simple split shot on the bottom and a hook up above tied on with a Palomar knot. I'm using six pound test line. Um, I like a little bit longer rod. This is, these rods right here are our famous seven foot light action rods and they're perfect because I can get away from the boat a little bit too. And I'm basically just fishing right over the side and uh, using fat heads. Now this rig I have on this one's a little bit different. This is what Brian was talking about right here. And again, both of them, and that's the way perch are, both of them don't have bait on. Now here, and this is what Brian's using, it just, again, see how I have that hook staying straight out. That's the key too when you're tying that on there. And uh, what I have on here is just a little bit of a bead to give it a little bit of color up above. And again, split shot, I got about 10 inches away. And just having that hook so it stands right straight out. And uh, when you tie a Palomar, that you're able to do that. When you clinch it down, just make sure you, you keep that hook pointed straight out and clinch it down and it's perfect like that. Got a good one? Oh, oh is that, I that's thought he's better than that. That's not a bad one. No. Waiting on some bigger ones, they're here. But that's a nice eater right yeah, there. Yeah, that is a good eater. That's a decent one, Lance. See that, we eat fishy. Yep, <laughs> well, we do this one time. Well. Yeah, I'm just casting up this, a good one. Really, probably the best one. Ooh, that's a nice one. Woo. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's a keeper. Just yeah. made a move. Everybody's Doing something a little, a little bit control. different. They're definitely stacked out there. That is the thing about perch fishing. You definitely, if you're not getting them, move. There's a oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Now we're on them. Again, you know, we, we did. Just made that little bit of a move. Went a little shallower. Brian's got one going there too. And basically just pitching that light jig, that 30 second ounce jig, because the water right here is only about three foot. And I can see the bottom real easy and crystal clear. So just adapt, adapt. Oh. Yeah, that's my fish. And I got a fish on this one. Oh, oh look at that. Holy shit. Whoa. I see that. Whoa. That's what the fish just pulled the rod in. Another nice eater. Good eater. I got to get out of Larry's way. He's mad at me because I got a bobber out there. <laughs> and look at the bobbers going down. Oh. You know, basically what I'm doing, everybody, is I've got, again, I've got this 30 second ounce jig on there. And I'm just hooking it with a fat head, nice perch right there. And I've got a small split shot. And what I'm doing, the reason I've got the split shot in there is I'm just trying to get the distance. So I'm keeping it about a foot away. And what I was saying is that we've moved several times and now we're in about two and a half feet of water and it's a solid mat of weeds. So what I'm doing is basically just pitching out and dragging it really slow. So my sinker's down like this and the jig is lighter than that and it's staying, staying just above them weeds and I'm crawling. And again, I have the sinker on there so I can get the distance in there. So I'm using a seven foot mags rod and basically again, 30 second ounce jig with a small split shot just so I can get some distance and just dragging it as slow as I can. And when I feel them grab on, obviously setting the hook. Yeah, I don't see. And what I'm doing a little different than Larry is I'm doing the drop shot rig. Nice that was a hit. Perch first. Oh, I can't. I, I got a split. Yeah, I'm just lifting. What I got is a, a 
Snell tied on here with a bead, of course, with a size eight Aberdeen gold hook, a little sinker. And I'm doing the same thing, Larry, as I'm dragging this along on the bottom. So it's just about, you know, four inches off the bottom. And I've been catching limits of perch like that every time out here. So I can't wait to get in and get another one. What was that on, a bobber or just a small No, just a 32nd ounce. That, now that's a giant right there. Look at the size of that one right there. Nice, nice fish. Cool part is too, you know, and we did this uh, last year. Uh, this close when this closes in March, the season. The cool part is that you know, like we were out for the last two weeks fishing. Lance and I guiding out here. We have an airboat now, so we can get out when that ice is. That's thin. Awesome. So I something to think about too. Yeah. And him and I, the last day, you know, we did a show on it. We ended up catching three perch that measured over 15 inches. That's incredible. That awesome. I remember that. that. I remember that. Loving it. You know what, Larry? I'll yeah, say about perch fishing, what it is, is that, relaxing. Mike? It is. There's not a whole lot of boat operation involved. And uh, besides a little bit of cleaning fish when you're done. What are you talking about? Time. Lance is operating the boat. He ain't doing much over there. What? You're, what are it, you saying? He's it, not it doing much? It looks like that trolling motor is keeping us locked right in place, right? It was, well. <laughs> now he's moving you on your talking, side. If you open up your eyes, you're going to see the two weeds. <laughs> see how he is, Brian? <laughs> You see how he is? But that water is clear. You can see them fish way down there. It's a nice fish. Steve, who dressed you this morning? Just out of curiosity. You got a problem with the way he's dressed? Oh. You want to turn around? The rest I'll see. <laughs> just, just give me this pose once here, Steve. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> hey, is there anything wrong with wearing your shirt backwards? I love this Mag's custom rod. You know what? Got perfect action. Very diverse rod. Whew. Tell you what, Brian, that is our limit right there. I've been actually done for a little bit here. It's kind of nice. Uh, you know what? Every day somebody's got the hot hand, but today I would say pretty much everybody did good. Once we got it dialed in, we're going to switch gear. We're going to run run and get rid of some gear and grab some bass gear. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. We switch landings here, and now we're going to basically target smallmo. You know, and what you've got set up here, I know you've got some plastic set up and you also have some live bait rigs, rigs, and we'll show you guys real quick exactly how we're rigging it and uh, how we're working this bait. I'm gonna sit back and watch you guys fish for a while. Huh, what do we want? A little honey barbecue or hot Jamaican? Oh, a little pepper. I'll take the pepper for sure. Go, buddy. Nice job, that's on the plastic too. Oh, Lance. Oh, Lance, nice job. Nice job. That's a good bass. Good, good smallie. Good start. Really good smallie. You guys okay. are using live bait. I'm going aggressive route. Yep. See what's going to work best. Mixing it up. Five minutes in. Nice 17, 18 inch air. Loving it. There you go. Nice job, Brian. Feels like it's so on. Oh, yeah. Woo, nice. That is the fun part about smallie fishing. Yeah, everything hey, on this side. rods, man. I love them. They'll no. soon be in at Windrose North here. They're going to be in there in the next week or so, so you can get them there by. Oh, no kidding. And not a monster, but. But still a good fish. A good solid fish. Yeah. And a lot of fun to catch. We're up to two. We've been here about 10 minutes. Let's get another one. I love these Kaylee hooks too. You yeah, why that? do you use a Kaylee? Let's because show everybody right what a Kaylee hook is. You see where that hook is? Right in the corner of the mouth. When you set the hook, most of the time, it does what it did right there. It's in the corner of the mouth. Sometimes they swallow them, and if we get one that swallows it, I got a great trick I'll show everybody. You go in through the gill, pop it right out. Oh, nice fish. Oh, that's what I love about smallmouth, the way they jump like that. Uh-huh. No, oh, like that. nice. Catch them. Like that. Oh, that's pretty heavy. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Yeah, that one's got her swallowed. Oh yeah, this is a nice one here. It's a tank. Tanker. That's a good bass in anybody's book, right? Yup. Always cast it straight across the current and shift your body as the bait is working its way through. Makes a huge difference. You want to always have contact with that bait. And I'm lifting it, letting it fall, lifting it, letting it fall. 
Oh, there's our walleye. There she walleye. is. Yeah. We'll oh, I got, I'm going to do a flipper. Awesome. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice one. Like you absolutely throttled it. It's so important that you're always pitching slightly down, down river. Nice deal, and let that bait. As as I'm fishing here, my body is constantly moving as the bait is flowing through the current seam. There you go. We caught a lot of fish today. You can hit me on Facebook, AC Guide Service, or you can give me a call on my home phone, 715-735-7346. Gotta leave a message to get a hold of me. Leave a message, then you get my cell phone number and you're good to go. Bass fishing is gonna get better. Got a lot of small ones today, they're gonna get big. As soon as that water temperature lowers down a little bit more, and then the perch fish is gonna be good right through till January. So I'm guiding on surgery this winter, but I'm gonna get as much fishing as I can. Give me a call. Love to have you. Uh, uh, this is a mess.